Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be continuing What If Naruto Had Cremation. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. You are watching Shinobi L. Enjoy. Before we continue any further, please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here. Um, but no recap. Go watch the last part. So after Neji says that, Naruto throws him on the ground, and Naruto looks up at the stands and was like, "So, you guys want me to just sit here?" And fight someone that's not even worth my time. You want me to kill him. Don't you? And he looks up at Hinata's dad. And Hinata's dad was like. No Neji. Start fighting for real. And Neji gets up. And Naruto looks back at him. And was like Neji. Sit back down. And Neji looks at Naruto. And was like. Like I would ever listen to you. And Neji rushes in. Like, Neji fully blitz Naruto. And Naruto, like, he's just standing there. And when Neji, like, gets to Naruto, Naruto, like, he throws, like, a wall of fire up between him and Neji. And everybody was kind of scared because... From what they saw, Neji was in the fire. <sighs> but Naruto, like, walked through the fire and was like, careful, it's hot. We don't want you to go burning yourself now. Especially, you know, those pretty little hands that you need, you know, to be, quote unquote, the best in the village. And he goes, like, Gara goes on to, not Gara, fuck. Neji goes on to say, don't mock me. You're just a waste of time and a clown, in fact. And Naruto looks at him and was like, explain how I'm a clown. And Neji goes on to say, think about it. You're willing to fight me for some girl that you that's never really did anything for you. And even then, you're fighting her dad. In a sense, too, you killed a whole squad of Anru members for no reason at all. And when Neji says that, Naruto, like, he gets, like, pissed because he know why he killed them. So Naruto was like, what did you say? And Neji was like, ooh, it seems like I struck a nerve. And... Naruto was like, take it back. And Gar is fuck. Neji was like, no, no, I'm not going to. And Hinata is seeing what's about to happen. She kind of tried to tell her dad to stop the fight. and Or try to tell somebody to stop the fight. But nobody is listening to her. Because everybody thinks it's amusing that. Naruto is hurting. So Naruto looks around and he sees that everybody's kind of like chuckling. The only person that's not chuckling is really just Hinata and Sasuke. Because, well, Sasuke doesn't find anything to be funny. So Naruto. I, he looks around, and as he's seeing all of this, he looks back at Neji, and he holds out his hand, and he just incinerates Neji. And nobody really saw this coming, and everybody was kind of, like, like devastated. Like, people were starting to cry, other people were booing Naruto. 
other people was saying other people like village word spread throughout the village quickly and the story got twisted along the way so other people were saying that they weren't even fighting um neji was just trying to like be friends with him other people were saying that when neji got defeated naruto just killed him and naruto after winning he like he leaves the arena and he starts going home but when he gets back to his house he sees a whole bunch of people in front of his house again so naruto like he looks around like at all the people and he starts thinking like i know that those ambu people weren't my real family but for these people it has no relation with Neji. To be so attached to somebody that they didn't know. Someone that thought someone that thought of them as lesser is amazing. But then like through the crowd, Hinata pushes like Hinasha Hinata kinda like pushes her way through. And Naruto sees Hinata and he op like he doesn't open the door. Like he lets Hinata knock on the door, and then he opens the door, and Hinata walks in. But as Naruto, well, like as Hinata walks in, Hinata's like very uneasy, like she looks disturbed, distracted by something. And Naruto instantly notices this, so he begins to like see what's going on with her. And when Hinata turned like. When she turns around, there's like a paper bomb strapped to her. And like underneath her jacket, there's a paper bomb. And she takes her jacket off, and like normally. So she takes it off and she turns around to like go do something. And Naruto, noticing the paper bomb, he instantly like, he goes into like full blown attack mode basically. <laughs> so. What he does when he sees the paper bomb is that he ta like he doesn't tackle Hinata, but he runs up to Hinata, and he takes her shirt off. But he doesn't even look at her. He like he takes her shirt off and throws her jacket back on her, and he runs out the front door of his house, and he tosses the paper bomb in the air, and it blows up. And Naruto at this point is filming, like, the whole, like, area around his house is getting hot. So, Naruto looks around, like, just to see if anybody would be stupid enough to say that they did it. And everybody's kind of, like, quiet now because they were just trying to, like, make fun of Naruto, you know, tr basically trying to get him to leave the village. No, ex no one expected for him to throw a shirt with a paper bomb on it into the air. So, when everyone, like, when Haruzen sees it, like, the Haruzen could s see the explosion from his, like, from the Hokage's office. So he, you know, he gets ready to go over there and see what the fuck's going on with Naruto again. So, he arrives at the place... So where Naruto is, Naruto's just standing there, and Haruzen was like, Naruto, what's going on? And then, like, everybody else started talking. He killed an innocent boy. He was down and out. You didn't need to kill him. Like, shit like that. He was trying to be your friend. And Naruto's still just standing there. And Haruzen was like, um, Naruto, what happened? And Naruto was like, the funny thing is, is that even if I tell you what happened, nothing's gonna change, is it? And he looks up at Haruzen, and Haruzen looks back at Naruto, and he sees that Naruto's eyes went from those, like, just a couple of days ago, they went from, like, those shining marbles of, like, just there like they went from being bright-eyed and not even like having a little bit of fun like 
they they went from like normal to like just dead inside. So Naruto looks up at um Ruzen and he when Ruzen sees like the distress like the stress on Naruto and the fact that it looks like Naruto is just giving up altogether. He looks around and he sees what he's been ignoring for like the past couple of years. And at that point, Kakashi comes down and he was like, I just finished training Sasuke um, for the day. What, what's going on here? And Haruzen was like, um, we have a, we have a problem. And Naruto was like, there isn't any problems. Because even if you try to fix it, everything's going to pan out how it did. It's always going to turn out the way it was. There's no way you can stop it. There's no way I can stop it. In fact, there is. Wait a second. So Naruto goes back into the house. And he walks back out. With Hinata. But Hinata is still kind of shaken up about the fact that Naruto tore her shirt off of her and threw it into the air and it blew up. But she's also kind of shocked at the fact that there was a whole fucking paper bomb strapped to her shirt. And man's, man's ass is going to sacrifice her life. No, not sacrifice, because she didn't want to do it, but you get what I mean. So... Naruto, like, walks back outside, and Haruzen was like, what are you doing? And Naruto remembers seeing, like, when he tore her shirt off, he remembers seeing, like, a whole lot of more bruises and and shit like that on her back. So, Naruto turned, like, Naruto grabs Hinata, right, like, in a hugging Thing, and he like he grabs a kunai out of his pouch and he cuts her shirt and he opens his shirt and everybody sees like all these bruises and scratches and everything else and Naruto looks around and was like you see this this is all what your beloved Neji did her father I don't know what the fuck his name is her own father sat there and let this happen. And you have some nerve to come to my house and talk to me about people dying. I am sick of this village because every time I do something wrong or I do something that seems justified or I do something out of a fit of rage. There's this big fucking argument. But the minute that, gee, I don't know, a shinobi decides that he's going to come to my house when he's drunk or something and strap paper bombs to it, which didn't happen before, he's okay. Like, that's fine. Like, because you do know if I die, the nine tails could leave my body, right? Or take it over. If I pass out, the nine tails could take my body over. But, you know, we're not going to talk about that. Um, Naruto was like, but the worst thing of all is that the thing inside me took everything from me. Like, literally everything. And Naruto was like the closest thing that I had to family were those Ambu members. We all had different personalities, different spots in the house that we normally hung out in. And then they tried to replace them with nothing but cheap imitations. And then I killed them. Because I said I didn't want anybody else in my house. And, like, everybody's, like, kind of quiet now. Because, like, they're kind of shocked that, well, Hinata. So, Naruto, like, grabs Hinata and, like, walks her back 
like backwards into the house and he like he tells her to go put on one of his shirts because he kind of just like tore open not she she didn't have on a shirt she tore on, she he tore up in her jacket that yeah you know the the like the tan jacket that she would run around with when she was little yeah so he after um after doing that he walks back out there and he was like i can understand you being mad but everybody in the nine tails attack lost something some people lost friends some people lost houses some people lost their children but me I lost my parents. I haven't even seen. I didn't even get to see what my parents look like. I don't know their names. I tried so hard to just put that in the past, but you can't really put shit like that in the past when the thing that killed them is in your body. Can you? And Naruto was like, but before you even answer that, I'm going to go. And he walks back in the house and he pull, he comes back out the house with Hinata. But Hinata, instead of wearing one of his shirts, was wearing one of, I don't remember, uh, was wearing the girl that healed Hinata um, up, back up anyway. Like, the first time she came into his house. So, Naruto just threw a whole bunch of her clothes in the bag and some of his clothes in the bag. And Hinata was like, where are we going? And Naruto was like, somewhere away from this damn village. And he walks back out the front of the house. And Haruzen was like, Naruto, you can't leave the village or you'll be considered a rogue shinobi. And Naruto was like, I'm fine with that. And Haruzen also, Haruzen was like, no, Naruto, I won't let you leave. And Naruto turns around and was like, are you going to stop me? Because if you are, by all means, try. So I can turn this entire half of the village to cinders. Unless you want to have that on your head, on your conscience. So Haruzen kind of stops, and then, like, a whole bunch of, like, Ambu members appear around da- Naruto. And then Danzo hits the corner and was like, I knew you were always going to leave. You and that little Hugo brat are coming with us. And Naruto looks at him and was like, you know what? I've always hated you. And he starts walking, like, Naruto starts walking toward him. And he keep Naruto like he keeps raising the temperature um on like where he is every time he steps. So it gets hotter and hotter as he gets to Danzo's position. And by the time Naruto gets to Danzo's position, Danzo's entire like like his little arm of shining gun, since I know that they're flesh and everything. But nothing could really substand, um, stand heat. So I'm gonna say that like they kind of like started to melt, cause you know their eyeballs. They're gonna melt. Like, yeah, and it was really hot. It wasn't just like, oh. Uh, you know, he's just raising the temperature. It's like 90 degrees. No, Naruto was raising the temperature to where he was. It got so hot to the point where Hinata couldn't walk with him anymore. Like, Hinata was standing right next to him. And next to him, like, when he got to, like, when he started to get closer to Danzo, she was so fucking hot to the point where like, it was so hot near Naruto to the point where she couldn't stand next to him or she felt like she was going to pass out or die. 
so she kind of like just started lacking behind Naruto. And when Danzo tries to use the Izanagi, he he like it doesn't work, and he's like, "What is the way it went?" And he looks like he jumps back, and he like he throws like he uses the substance to jujutsu. And he goes like behind this building and he takes off the bandages and you see that the eyes are still there. They're just like not what's the name? Like they're not they're melted basically. So then he sees that he still has Shisui's eye. So he goes back out there and he starts fighting. Like he like he starts to berate Naruto. And he starts laughing and Naruto incinerates him and he uses it's only Izanagi. <gasps> so, Naruto, like, after he uses Izanagi, everybody shocked. And Naruto was like, oh, I see what's going on here. So he turns around to everybody and he was like, you think I'm a monster? This man just used the Izanagi. That's a trick that only the Uchiha knows you know that right so with that being said that means that this man here after all the Uchiha clan members were dead he walked out to each and every body and took their eyes you know that But y'all call me the monster. I'll let you pay for your sins yourself. As he tells that to Danzo. And Naruto starts walking toward the end, the exit of the village. And then like Hinata starts chasing shortly thereafter him. So. Well, she starts chasing after him. So as they get to, like, they leave the village, like. They leave the village, like they get past the gates. And Hinata was like, So, what's next? And this is where I'm gonna end this part off. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like. If y'all enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, without further ado, this has been Shinobi and peace.